I am Jake Meeks of the Tattoo Improvement Network, and this is Fireside Technique. A couple of weeks ago now, or more than that, I picked up this dude right here, the Cheyenne pin, and a lot of you guys asked me to let, let you know what I thought about it once I uh, got used to it a little bit. So that's what I'm doing now. Before that, I was using this guy, another Cheyenne. Let me, let me start this entire thing by saying I have no affiliation with Cheyenne. I bought both of these machines, they've never given me anything, they don't know who I am, they don't care about me. They speak German, I speak English, we're different people. But I am going to review these guys, side by side, right now. Get ready. Come on in. Alright. Let me start, let me start with this, oh, let me put it in a stand for one thing. Let me start uh, with this. I asked Cheyenne, first off. Uh, I was at a convention and I asked the guys from Cheyenne uh, whether or not I should look at this if I already owned this. Here's what they told me. They said that the Cheyenne pin hits a, is kind of an in-between the Thunder and their first uh, version of this, the Hawk. Meaning it kind of hit not as hard as this one, but harder than the Hawk Spirit, I think is what it's called. The Hawk Spirit, the Hawk Thunder. So the first version was called the Spirit. They said this one hits a little harder than the Spirit, not as hard as this one. Uh, I've used both of them. I've used this one maybe six or eight times now. I've been using this one for probably three years. I can tell absolutely no difference in the way that they hit. They are exactly the same. So in my mind, that was, uh, that was just a sales point. Um, but here's what I will tell you about them. Uh, for one thing, just the, just the idea of, of not having any weight in the back, no matter how light this motor is, it still kind of sits like a regular like a, a coil machine or any other um, rotary machine that you might be used to, just losing this is a little weird and it takes some getting used to. This is a lot like drawing with a Sharpie. There, it's, it's balanced so well, as a matter of fact, it's almost forward balanced, so there's no weight back here. Uh, it was a little hard for me to line with on the front end. I, left, I felt a little uneasy uh, pulling lines. It was kind of like pulling lines with a Sharpie, I guess, but it's, it's a little weird when you're doing it on skin. Um, once I got used to that, it was no big deal. Shading was no problem at all. As a matter of fact, my favorite part of this machine is, is when I'm shading, I tend to move back on it, like move my hands back. I stand up a lot when I tattoo, and I feel almost like I'm pulling with a paintbrush rather than being down here and like scumbling or wor working like, a, with a, like I normally would with a tattoo machine. Um, I kind of have enjoyed scooting my hand back and making larger sweeping motions with the machine, uh, which I can't really do with this because I, I you know, run into the, to the motor. Um, that's my favorite thing, and I'll continue to use it because of that. I really, really like that. I tend to tattoo like a painter anyways. I like when I paint, I like to scoot back on my brush and have a lot of handle in front of me. And this allows me to do that. It allows me to get away from my tattoo and, and, and move uh, with my arm rather than just with, with my wrist. That's my favorite thing about it. Here's what I don't like about it. Listen to the way that this one moves. You know, when, when you are, as a matter of fact, let me plug it up just real quickly so you guys can hear this. Maybe we'll take a quick pause. Okay. So, when you run these machines, my favorite thing about these machines is that you have control of the needle depth and it clicks. Let me turn it off so you can hear. Hear this click? So every time you want to increase the needle depth or decrease the needle depth, there's a click that allows you to do that in the thunder. In the pin, it just rolls. There is no click. So you're, I guess it doesn't mean anything, uh, but for some reason when it doesn't click, I feel like it can go backwards and forwards easier without like it doesn't set seat in or something like that which it might just be in my own mind, but I don't love that. I would rather it click into place, but it doesn't. It turns kind of independently. Another thing is, when you start turning this thing, it does this. It did that the first time I used it. For a $600 machine, that's kind of crappy in my mind. It doesn't affect anything, but it sounds like, uh, like a Fisher-Price My First Tattoo machine to me. Um, you can probably oil it. I don't know. Uh, uh, they didn't. They didn't tell me that would happen. Uh, I don't exactly know the best way to deal with it. It does have these O-rings in it. Let me pull it apart. There are two O-rings in there that maybe is causing that. Uh, I don't know. 
But either way, be prepared for it to get squeaky and for your clients to go like, wow, did you spend $8 on that machine? Um, other than that, I really like it. So, so am I going to keep using it? Yes. Uh, because I like that it, I like it that I can move my hand back on it. I'm getting used to the way that it's balanced. Otherwise, it runs just like the Thunder. Um, I think it looks cool. I like the way that it looks. Um, but uh, I don't like that it doesn't click. I don't like that it's squeaky. And it did take, there was a little bit of a learning curve when I was trying to get used to lining with it just because it's kind of forward balanced, uh, which I should have expected. There, there, I probably knew that going in. I just, I wasn't ready for it whenever I tried to line a half sleeve and, and, and felt all shaky. But um, other than that, you know, I, I guess it's fine. Uh, if you already own this one, don't bother with this one. Uh, if you don't own this one, um, this one's pretty cool. You know, uh, both of them are fine machines uh, other than the squeak. The squeak's kind of shitty. But that's it. Let me know what you think. If you guys are using these or something else, let me know. These are the only two rotaries that I use. I went from coils to these guys. I've never used, you know, Injecta or, um, or any of the FK Iron stuff or, or anything else. I've only used these. So if you guys have more experience than I do in this, um, I'd love to hear some comments or I would love for you to share some comments with the rest of the viewers if you're more educated than I am on the matter. Just leave the comment down here. Also, don't forget to subscribe at TattooImprovement.com. That's all. Have a good day.